Here come the what ifs. Wow, man, these are quite possibly the most frequently used sentence beginnings in my YouTube inbox. I get like, what if this? What if that? What if I do this? What if I don't do that? What if my friend did this? What if my friend doesn't do that? And what if I did this? And oh my goodness, I did this. What happens? Whew, man, right, okay. So I'm just going to go over the most common ones. The most common questions I get. What if I open the fuel tank of my car whilst running? Okay, so the engine's running, it's time to refuel. Now, I think this, to be honest, I think this depends on how long you take to refill. If you're going to choose to take, you know, like a couple of minutes on refilling and faffing around, then quite possibly your engines are going to end up running lean or it will cut out completely. So what I recommend to do is to, I mean, I always do it, just simply open it up, squeeze the fuel out, slam it shut ASAP. That doesn't do any harm at all. Okay, often um, if the fuel's just about to go completely, sometimes the um, engine might need a little bit of throttle to get some fuel to it. Um, but apart from that, it doesn't do any harm at all. Um, yeah, so another very, 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 very common what if is um, what if I pull my pull cord out too far? Now, this is a very, very common beginner's mistake, and every beginner will do it. I've done it, and I still do do it. I can understand why people do it, especially if you have a car that's stalling and it's being a pain. Often people will um, pull out the pull cord too far. However, um, if you do pull the pull cord too far, I just want to make it clear, perhaps I haven't made it clear enough in the past, that it does absolutely no harm to the engine itself. The only harm that pulling the pull start does out too far is the pull start. You know, you could turn the engine over constantly for half an hour and it wouldn't do it any harm. You just need to be careful that if you do pull out the pull start too far, you will end up breaking the pull start. But you won't end up breaking the engine in any sort of way. I know that a few people have said to me that they pulled it out and now they're worried that they've broken their engine. But I can assure you guys that nothing is wrong in pulling it out too far. You won't damage the engine. However, you will damage the pull start. So please try not to do it, but, you know, in... In a large aspect, it doesn't do any harm at all, apart from to the pull start. Another common what if is, I'm going back to the fuel now, is what if I let my fuel tank run out completely dry? Now, um, once again, um, I do it sometimes without meaning to, but I do always try and refill or stop the engine before the tank runs out. I'll tell you why. Now, obviously, um, if you don't have fuel in the tank, it's going to start running on air. And that isn't bad for your engine, especially in the warmer weather, it might start to overheat. And is isn't, you know, not enough lubrication, etc. So it's not really recommended um, to run your cars completely out, especially during the break-in. However, if you do do it, it's not going to cause any huge damage. It's just something that manufacturers always recommend you another common what if is what if i run my engine lean and what if i run my engine rich let's go to the lean one first now a common thing i always say is lean matters rich doesn't in other words if you run your engine lean then you're going to um, damage your engine, it's going to overheat from the lack of lubrication and in the long run you might be getting more performance at the time but you will cook your engine and it will die. You don't want to be doing that. Lean matters, lean damages, lean harms your engine. If you have any doubt that your engine is running lean, stop it immediately, let it cool down and tune it straight away. Don't carry on running your engine lean. However, if it's running rich, and you will know it's running rich because either you will have some fuel spitting out of the exhaust, or it's bogging down on the full throttle with like a, a low gurgling sound, and you will obviously get loads of blue smoke as well, it doesn't harm your engine. Basically, having too much fuel isn't going to harm the engine. 
However, you won't get as much performance out of your car as you can do with a better tuned engine. Um, I mean, a last point I'm going to finish with now because time's running out is that um, the in the hot weather, you should always be running your engines leaner, and I know it sounds weird, but you should always be running your engines leaner in the summer and richer in the winter, simply because more air will cool the engine than more fuel. It's just to do with humidity and density of the air.